So, hello, my name is Paul Jackson, I'm an origami artist and I'm going to show you how to make a cube and then how to put the cubes on top of each other in a particular way. It doesn't sound very interesting, does it? But just stick around. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to make a unit. Um, so here's my origami paper and I'm going to fold. So, so I'm making a little pinch here and also on the next edge, fold in half, make a little pinch. So we have two pinches. I'm going to use one pinch as a guide and fold the edge there to the pinch. Turn round, fold the other edge to meet the first edge. And you can see in the middle, I hope, that the other pinch is there. So we use that as a guide and fold, let me turn the paper, fold the edge to the pinch in the middle. Turn round. Do the same on the other side. And that's really all it is. Um, just, just open the sides out. So that very simple folded form is what we make six of. Why six? Because there are six squares that make a cube. So let me find some of them here. So I've got um, two green, two beige ones and two purple ones here. So we have six pieces and I'm going to put them together. Um, so I put the extra piece, I call it a tab. The tab goes where there is no tab on another one. And then again, the tab on the green where there's no tab on the beige. Um, so beige opposite beige. So we're making a lot of mirror symmetry actions here. Put that inside. And one more on the top, just to lock it. Now this is not incredibly strong because it's origami paper. If you make it from something thicker, then you can make it a lot stronger. But today is an origami day. So that goes inside there. And you have a very simple cube which is known as the Jackson Cube for the reason that 30, 35 years ago, this is something I created. Um, very simple module. Now, wouldn't it be interesting if, if you could stack them, but not just one cube on another, wouldn't it be interesting if you could stack them on a corner, right? So this is what we're going to do. So here I have one of the green units that I've pushed a corner in of. How do you do that? Okay, I'll show you. So you first of all make the unit as you make it ordinarily, and then you choose a corner. It doesn't really matter which one. Just one corner. Fold over the tab, and then fold the corner into the middle like that. So you make a triangle and a good strong fold. And then open the triangle and open the tab and turn it over. So we now have... <coughs> the shape a little bit like a letter Y. So here, this arm of the Y, we have to just refold it as a mountain so it makes a proper letter Y. And then this fold in the middle here, just turn it the opposite way to a valley and the triangle will fold inside. So we start by folding the triangle to the front, but we finish by putting the triangle inside and then folding strongly and, and opening this out so the tab stands at 90 degrees. And the other one we don't touch at all, the other tab, we leave it as it is. So what I'm going to do now is first of all find other ones I can use because I need them. So here are three others without the corner pushed in. So take a green one and take a beige one and we're going to put the tab the inside the green and then lock it here with the lilac one. Now this takes a bit of fiddling around. It's maybe not very elegant to watch, but it works. Oh, okay. So now can you see the corner is inverted? It's been pushed in. So it's still the cube here. These triangles are still the face of the cube, but it's inverted, it's pushed in. So from here, I can just finish the cube in the normal way. So this goes in there. Put a lilac one in here. This is where you hope it doesn't explode. Sometimes it does, especially when you're being filmed. 
but oh no, no, it's okay. And one more. So there we go. Okay, so we make another cube. Same way as the first one really, except the corner was pushed in. So that's the corner that's pushed in. So we make this triangle edge here. So what you can do now is stand it on a corner, which is much more interesting than just a cube there like that, isn't it? This is rather ordinary, but this is, you know, I think rather beautiful. So what I'm going to do is make another one, just the same, but with different colours. Um, so take three pale green ones. So again, they have a corner that's been pushed in. I'm going to lock them together. Put one tab right under the corner. Third in here. Three orange ones, I can lock these at the top. Actually no, put one at the side. Put that one in at the side. Put this one in over here. So we're making just the same as before, although the colour pattern is different this time because there are lots of ways you can use different colours. So just push it together, make it a bit stronger. Good, so this is the same as the other one and that will also stand on its corner. But what's nice about this is that because what's been inverted is still part of the square, three triangles from three squares, this is a negative of this, this typical positive corner because the angles are 90, 90 and 90 on this positive corner, but they're also 90, 90, 90 on this corner. So what it means is that one cube will go into the other so that they lock like that. One goes completely inside the other. So you can stand one, one cube on its triangle and the other one will fit on top like that. So you can keep stacking them up and also by pushing in other corners as well, you can go out in other directions, maybe using glue, so you can grow these kind of molecules. And you can make cubes of different sizes too, so that some are bigger than others or whatever you want. And if you put some weight in the bottom, like a bag of rice, then it really anchors it. And you can build whole sculptures this way. So that's a rather nice system, very simple, but it's a very, interesting way to look at a familiar form. I mean, everybody knows cubes. A cube is a cube. Oh, how exciting. But to me, this is exciting because it's standing on a corner. Thank you.